Hey everyone, so like I said, Friday, our rehabilitation staff was releasing a bald eagle that day, and I hoped that they were going to be able to take some videos and some photos for us, and they were, so I'm going to kind of paste those into this video, um, but also keep talking about that eagle and some of the other rehabilitation stuff out here at the Raptors there. So that eagle that was released was 2020-014. Um, and it was admitted earlier this year with a couple of wounds, um, some bleeding and a little bit of weakness. It was actually hit by a car uh, going down I-59. Uh, so it was hit by a car brought to our facility. That happens not so much with eagles that often, but a lot of the owls get hit by cars. Uh, like I said, they grow up really fast. And so their parents don't teach them to look both ways before they cross the road. And so unfortunately, lots of the owls these raptors and birds in general get hit by cars because they're not looking both ways when they cross the road. Hopefully you are so that you don't get hit by those vehicles. Uh, but these raptors really don't and they really can't afford to. Their food is moving. If they take their eyes off that animal, it's going to run into the woods. And they'll never be able to see it again. And so lots of times they just have tunnel vision. They lock in on their food. And so unfortunately it gets them hit by vehicles sometimes. And so we released that one on Friday. I say we, our rehabilitation staff, released that eagle on Friday. Uh, we actually have three bald eagles in our care right now. Uh, one of them was actually admitted Friday. So the day we get rid of an eagle, we actually receive an eagle that same exact day. Uh, so we've got three bald eagles in our care currently. Last year, we got 23 bald eagles remitted, admitted to our facility. Um, and then since 2004, we've released 40 bald eagles back in the wild. And so bald eagles, they're, like I said, a great success story because they're no longer endangered. They're no longer threatened. There are now plenty of them. And we're thankful that we can do our part and help release a lot of them back into the wild. Um, so we're thankful for that when possible that we can release them back in the wild. And this one that came to us, it was released near the Gunnersville area. Um, the State Department actually kind of either tells us where to release bald eagles or they will just kind of give us some possibilities of where to release them. And so this one was released fairly close by to where it was found based on the recommendation from the Alabama State Department of Conservation. And so we were able to release it back there. Now last year, uh, so in 2019, we had 319 raptors admitted to our facility. And that's fairly average for us. Some years we go up closer to 400. Some year we get real close to hitting 300, but not quite at 300. So 319 is fairly average um, for our rehabilitation section for admissions to our facility. We've actually slowed down a little bit um, with all the stuff going on in the world. I guess maybe people aren't traveling as much. Maybe that means that these raptors aren't getting hit as much. Uh, so we're glad for that, but it seems like we're not getting as many admissions here recently uh, as we would this time of year. Now, of course, it's also kind of baby season, so lots of these birds are being born. And again, remember, just because you see a baby bird on the ground doesn't mean that it needs rescuing. These birds don't just jump out of the nest and start flying three miles down the road that day. You know, they kind of jump out of the nest and then crash onto the ground. Uh, so they have to learn how to fly. And so lots of times they'll crash onto the ground. It doesn't mean that they need rescuing. Their parents still see them down there. They'll still bring them food. They'll still care for them as long as you're not there watching all the time. If you're there hovering over that bird, well, the parents aren't going to come because you're kind of scaring them away. You're keeping them away from taking care of their child. But you kind of just leave it alone they'll come back they'll start taking care of that baby as they normally would some of these owls can actually climb trees back into their nest so the barred owl they can actually kind of climb up the tree and kind of use their talons use their beak to climb up that tree uh, so the best thing to do is if you see a baby bird just leave it alone uh, if you can put it back in the nest you can put it back in the nest uh, if you know where the nest is and maybe you can't reach it, but maybe it's not safe for whatever reason for that bird to be on the ground, you can put up an artificial nest, uh, a laundry basket, a cardboard box. Uh, some of those small birds, people have put them in big butter tubs uh, and just kind of drilled them to the tree or uh, attached them to the tree somehow. And so 
you can do that and the parents will still care for them. Now, since 2000, from what I can find in our records, uh, we've released 1,680 raptors now. Um, so I'm very proud of that. I'm very proud of the work that a rehabilitation staff does of getting these raptors released back into the wild. Uh, right now, they're still caring for all those raptors, and it's just a very small staff up there right now. Just like down here at Education, you know, we don't have our volunteers right now. It's just the few staff members that work out here and some of our student workers. And so I'm very appreciative of what they're doing, uh, caring for these raptors, releasing them back into the wild 1,680 since 2000. Um, so that's pretty spectacular, I think, in my opinion, at least. Now, if you want to see the record um, for that bald eagle that we released, again, I'll post a link to that in the, uh, in the post, 2020-014. And then, like I said, if you want to see any of the birds in our care, um, some of them have radiographs, whatever it might be, if you want to see them, you can go to our website, auburn.edu slash raptor, click on case updates, and you can see all the raptors in our care right now. See why they're here, see if they've got any radiographs, whatever it might be. You can see those records on our website. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully everyone's staying safe. Uh, keep washing your hands. Keep watching and sharing these videos. Stay safe, War Eagle.